Yes, Martin's Rubber, we are a family owned business. We've been in existence for over 150 years now. Uh, Mr. Martin originally started the business back in 1865 here in Southampton, making the early Macintosh weatherproofing products using rubberized fabric. Grandfather Campbell bought the business in 1936 and it's remained in our family ever since then. We deal across a wide range of markets, uh, principally aerospace, defence, oil and gas, general manufacturing. Uh, we do a lot in niche automotive, that includes uh, the special vehicle operations of a number of major manufacturers and we deal with most of the Formula One teams, World Rally and uh, touring cars etc. Specialist, high quality products is what we manufacture and backed up by a very strong technical team with material developments as well as uh, manufacturing and product design assistance to our customers. We spent 25 years writing our own software when we got into CNC hydraulic seal manufacturing, which in many ways was a very strong area for us. However, despite having some very good manufacturing software and business software, we recognised that ultimately it was going to be very difficult to, to grow and progress that software. So really for business security, we went out to the marketplace five or seven years ago looking for standard software covering quote to cash, uh, all the aspects of the key business systems and looking to transition into a, a supported software package that would allow us to future-proof the business. The lead products in the marketplace we didn't feel actually addressed our real needs in terms of the resources that we were looking to keep control of. When we looked at Orchestrate and particularly its graphical interface we felt that was a much more intuitive and flexible system and so far with the efforts that we put in it has delivered the results we were looking for. What attracted us to supply chain was the Orchestrate finite capacity uh, module which they had uh, recently brought online which really we felt addressed the problems that we see as a, a job shopping environment. What attracted us particularly was coming from a bespoke software background ourselves we, we were very keen not to do bespoke coding ourselves or have it done on our behalf. Therefore, the workflow forms aspect of supply chain we felt was particularly strong so that we could configure internally various screens and aspects of the software to make it more user-friendly but without affecting the, the bottom line code, which to us really was a, a key aspect that we thought was a very strong part of the product. Allied to that, the strength of the capacity planning software, we thought those were the two things that really swayed the decision in, in favour of supply chain compared to other similar products. Our customers drive us very hard in terms of uh, short lead times, uh, changes to plan and looking at our schedules, the flexibility that we now have with Orchestrate linked to MezTech and a paperless system gives us that flexibility and responsiveness that we need. We had to be able to run what-if scenarios. Essential to that is knowing exactly where you are with your capacity plan at present, what slots are available and so that whole what-if scenario is something that we are a lot more adept at now. You have to assume that most people on the shop floor are not particularly software friendly and as I said one of the attributes that we were looking at for Mestec was a very user friendly interface. I have to say that with a lot of careful uh, pre-release formatting of the software the Mestec implementation on the shop floor went in extremely smoothly and the user experience has actually been one of the best received pieces of software that we've ever implemented anywhere in the business. Uh, it took a lot of time and effort to get that right, but certainly the rollout was extremely painless. Importantly, the users on the shop floor saw the benefits immediately and therefore the buy-in was very good. And between ourselves, Mestech and supply chain, we managed to get the data integrations working very well in pretty short uh, time frame as well, so that we were beginning to get very good quality information coming back into supply chain very early on. So overall I would say that's, that's definitely been a success and a major plus point in this whole integration.